guys, I'm WolfHD and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm making a game. And there's a couple of things in my game that I've not really found across the internet that easily. So I thought I might put them all in a video. They may not help you at all, but they've helped me. Uh, and it's just an easy way for you to get them on. So the first thing uh, I would say is teleport pads. Because you could get them if I just go into view here. Yeah. We open toolbox. And we'll go off and we'll just type. So we do teleport pads. And you get these, but they're, they're probably viruses. So that's why you shouldn't really be using free models. But um, I believe all the um, I will leave all the scripts down below if you want to use them. So first what you want to do is you want to insert an object. Like you want to insert a part. And in this part uh, you could change the colour, material, uh, but just remember to name it one thing so it's easy to come back to. So I've named mine Stone. Now when we're in this script, I'll leave this down below, we need to put script.parent, so this is the script's parent, dot touch, so if that's touched then it's going to connect to function. The parent finds the first child, which is humanoid, then to teleport the parent's torso, or yeah, I'm not saying it properly, but I bet you can find it more in depth if you look through the internet. But uh, just know that it works. Uh, torso.c frame, uh, and it's turning to a new C frame. So it's basically sending your torso, which is your whole player, to a new position. Uh, and that's the position of our new thing. So now what you want to do, basically, is you can, you can duplicate this if you want. And you want to put your other pad somewhere else. I've called mine Lava this one because it looks like lava and you want to have the same script in here it's just you want to have the C frame the other position and to find these positions say uh, if we've got lava here we need to click on lava go down in the properties and you see position so that's your position and then with that you can't put it in this script you have to go over to stone or whatever you've called yours Mine stone, and you have to put it in there. Uh, otherwise, it'll teleport it to itself, which doesn't really make sense. So, it needs to teleport to the other one. So, guys, uh, if I test this out, so guys, there was a problem with mine. So, uh, I just tried to update it, and hopefully, it works. Mm. So, Torso is not a va valid member of model. Alright, then. We're gonna have to check what I've done wrong the toss of it here so I'll be back once I fix this hopefully so guys I found a fix for this because I was writing this as if we're still in R6 but my character is now in R15 so instead of the torso bit here which it was saying I had to put a humanoid root part because torso isn't classed as a thing anymore so so we have it working but if I click play and let it load yep I forgot to anchor them if I stand on it, this happens. It's switching across them way too fast. So, what we may have to do is over here onto this lava. From here, take down a line. Simple weight. 0.5. This should let us have time to walk off. So guys, wheat is working, but there is a problem. Because if you go on it, then I forgot to change the time too much. So let's try 510 was working. It's just you have to wait a while to go back, which isn't the best thing if you want instant teleporters. So, and this is the problem when that happens. So, I'm going to look for a fix for this. Okay guys, so there is actually a way to do this without having to do a lot of scripting. Um just do this. So that there you go, magic. And I'll have to move this over here. So that so if we try this now we don't have to have a wait. And once I load in, send it. Spawn over here, so it doesn't rapid fire to put teleporters. 
So I'll leave this route in the description. But just remember, if you're using R6 for your whole game, I don't know if you can do that anymore. You're going to have to put torso instead of human root part. Remember, if you put in R15, you don't really need to change out, and it should still humanoid root part. Okay, guys, I know I said last thing, but we have one more thing. This is speed changers. I this took me so long to look through the internet for. It took me about a day or so because I tried a couple. They worked in studio, but didn't work in the actual game. So I'll leave this down here, and it's li uh, literally local speed boost. So uh, it's literally just a variable, so you can use that. So it equal it means script dot parent. It's just an easy way to write that. So we've got a local function stepped on, which is basically like touch, uh, uh, and it's a part. Then local parent, e uh, and then another variable, local parent equals part of parent. So if game dot players equals color, get players from character parent, which is this, then parent dot humanoid dot walk speed equals whatever you want, and then we just do speed boost dot touched colon connect. Uh, the fish stepped on, so uh, I'll leave that down there. And there'll be a couple of scripts, but I'll name them all so you don't get mixed up. Uh, again, please check out this. Uh, at the moment, you do have to be Builders Club. I know that's a bit annoying, but once it fully finishes, I just want some people to give me feedback because I know if I put it in Builders Club, I won't get too many people, and those people are more experienced people. No offense to anybody. Uh, who may be experienced just doesn't have Builders Club. Uh, I didn't have Builders Club for a while. Uh, so, yes, uh, it will be coming out to the public. And at the moment, well, it's still an alpha, 50% off sale if you uh, want that. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching this. I'm making a nobby, you can try it out. Still work in progress. Uh, it would be good if you could donate. You could get on my donation board, which someone actually is already. Uh, Big shout out to CSK07, top donator, bot VIP, uh, which is very good. And here it is.